Hi everybody, it's John DiPietro, and in this edition of Looking Back on the Great Tornado of 1953, we talked to Brother Armand LeMaire, who was on the staff of Assumption College back in 1953, and he describes in his vivid first-person recollection of how he survived the tornado and the immediate aftermath, including coming across people who did not survive the tornado. Let's hear what he has to say. Brother Armand, you were in it that day. Tell us what your experience was. Well, I was, uh, I was in the house in the, on the first floor of the old prep school building, the tower building, and uh, all of a sudden the noise was like a freight train. And, uh, you know, we didn't know what a tornado was all about. We never had any. And all of a sudden it was like a train rumbling through and it got very, very dark. And uh, then it, it was over in, in the 90 seconds. I think that, uh, that book, 90 Seconds, that changed, uh, changed Worcester. Tell us about the preparation that you had. How much time did they tell you up front about uh, tornado coming through? Well, some of us, we were on retreat that week. And we... Um, we were getting ready to go to an, a late afternoon uh, session for the retreat, a, another sermon. And uh, we were outdoors looking at uh, towards the Norton Company uh, plant, and we saw the dark cloud coming. But we didn't know what it all meant. All of a sudden, we were in the midst of this uh, uh, tornado, and uh, it was an, an unbelievable noise. Now, let me ask you this question. Um, the college was out of session, but they originally it was supposed to be, uh, the students were supposed to be there that day, or there was graduation that was scheduled right around that, but it was changed at the last minute. What, what's that story? Wait a minute now, that's, yeah. Well, the, the, there was a confusion in the setting of the date for the high school graduation and the college graduation, which were both held on the Greendale campus. And then, uh, well, we had to advance one of the dates, and that was just the day before. And uh, So that, that could have saved hundreds of lives between the students and visitors. It certainly could have. It, uh, you know, it certainly saved them because it diminished the the, uh, the crowd of campus. Now, here's what I was told: um, the campus buildings were badly damaged, and certainly the surrounding areas were badly damaged. But tell me about the chapel, because I, I'm told that the chapel was kind of like spared. Well, it was spared in the sense that the four walls stood up. But the windows, which the, they're being restored now, that's the second set. That first set went, went off with the wind. Then they rebuild the new set of stained glass windows, and uh, those are the ones that are coming up now. But if you looked at the pictures, the chapel was probably the part that was damaged the least, right? Yeah, the, the structurally it stayed up. Uh, divine intervention, you think? Oh, um, well, I wouldn't call it. I, I, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> now, have you heard anything about that they found library books from the college or the prep down at the Cape uh, within a short period of time after I that? I found out in the Boston area. I never heard of the Cape. But uh, library books, they get to the wind. And I'm sure some of them did go with the wind. And uh, how about uh, assumptionists? or nun were, the, were there nuns killed or assumptionists killed? Two nuns were, were killed uh, immediately. In fact, I carried the body of one of the nuns the length of the prep school building to bring her at the other end. And uh, the next day they were sent to Canada for, Canada for burial. Now, it's 60 years ago. Does it seem like yesterday in a way? In a way, the... the uh, some of the uh, timing is very vivid. I still remember those with details. Well, we want to thank you so much for spending time with us. Brother Armin Lemire, staff of Assumption College, who was one of the survivors of the 1953 tornado. Have a great day, everybody.